Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your December 2019 tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Virgo. So I'm just pulling uh, an overarching tarot card. This is using the Zero Marchetti Tarot of Dreams deck. Beautiful deck. So Angel Spirits Guides, what do we have please? What's the message for our lovely Virgos? For December 2019, what do Virgo need to hear? Okay, beautiful. This is your energy. We have the sun in Virgo, eight of coins. There's positive change here. The hard work is going to pay off. That's what you're being told here, Virgo. Eight of Coins is a card of reward about where you're in a position where you're getting the rewards for your hard effort. Now, that could be financial rewards. That could be money. That could be making more money. That could be going to a place where you're paid more money for the effort and the work that you do, but also where you're recognized by colleagues, co-workers for the work that you do and valued accordingly and paid accordingly. So the Eight of Coins is also somebody who enjoys what they do. There's a big message for those of you who are caught between opportunities or where you're making decisions or choices the big message here is do something that you enjoy because that's where you're going to reap the rewards now this person yes they carve that well generally it's a star but it's a coin a coin image onto this coin and there's a message here it's so it's so personal it's so tailored that you're just not chiseling away at your material wealth, your material security. You are slowly but surely changing the energy of your wider life, your wider picture. For those of you who have gone through challenge, that have gone through upset in some respects, this is such a positive message because it says now's the time to focus, to do one thing at a time, to be methodical and slowly but surely you change your internal energy as well as changing your external outcome. So. It is such a wonderful card. And sometimes with this, you know, it might feel that nothing's happening and then all of a sudden, you just suddenly start seeing positive change. And the 18 tarot is all about change. So remember that Virgo, if that's what you're feeling or going through right now. It is the methodical approach with the Eight of Coins. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Can we have four general energies? Then we'll look at love and romance, Virgo. Then we'll go into money and career. Okay. Okay. Okay, first general energy. We've got the Six of Swords, beautiful. That's clarified with the Emperor, love it. Second general energy, we have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Four of Wands, beautiful, okay. So Virgo, we'll look at Love and Romance. So for Love and Romance, okay, we've got the Devil. We have the five of wands. I'm going to clarify that. Okay, we've got the chariot. And money and career for Virgo. We have the two of swords. Yeah, we've got the six of pentacles. And finally, we have the two of wands. Lovely Virgo. Okay. So let's pull an angel answer card. So angel spirits, guys, what's the message for Virgo, please, for December 2019? Message for Virgo for December 2019, please. OK, 
Okay, Virgo, so we've got improving health and in the near future. Okay. So I certainly feel for some of you, those of you that have been stressed, worried, something that's affected your health, you could have ill health as well. This is where you're working to get back on track and I certainly feel for some of you that is happening. You're going to find change. There's change here. And there could be positive change, could be in terms of money and career, could also be to do with your wider circumstances, bringing greater value into your life. That can be the Eight of Coins as well. Uh, like I said, there's an energy shift with the Eight of Coins as well. Feeling a change from within too, because of the work that you're doing, the focus that you have in your external world. You're just making things happen slowly but surely. Um, so that's why I certainly feel this isn't an overnight card. This isn't something that is going to happen or change overnight. But this is saying, step by step, you are bringing greater solidity, greater security, positive change into your life. Yeah. Love it. Okay. So let's pull an energy card, Virgo. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what does Virgo need to hear? Our lovely Virgos, what do they need to hear for December 2019? What's the energy for December 2019, please? Energy for December 2019, please. Okay. Oh my <laughs> we have the world. Let me read that out to you, Virgo. <clears throat> When I can find the page. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. Okay. Expansion, opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay over which the beautiful sphere of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. Drawing this card lets you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now is the time to think big. Isn't that beautiful? So, and you know, the world card in Tarot Virgo, it can be about cycles ending in order to bring in the new. But this can also be about achievement, success, celebration accomplishment all of those things it can also be about breaking through breaking free of certain situations too okay so Virgo I'm going to choose these first we've got the Emperor and we have the six of swords now we've got the card of Aries here. There could be an Aries in your life. Uh, the Emperor as an energy is somebody who just takes the initiative, takes action. There's a realization with the Emperor. And look, you've got the young Emperor down here with the two of wands. So it's interesting the connections here. I'll probably read all these cards together for that reason, Virgo. Um, but I do feel there's some overlapping energies because the Emperor is somebody who in this position, he is fully aware of his capabilities. And I think you're just realizing, slowly but surely, that shift, that energy shift that I'm talking about, Virgo, is happening by what you're accomplishing in your external environment. The Emperor is very externally focused. He has full awareness of his internal um, achievements, capabilities. So he is very much linked to business, career, um, advancement, taking action, taking the initiative, having that spark to really bring about positive expansion and growth and that's very much linked in with that world energy here. Now it might well be for some of you that there is positive shifts by taking action you're bringing in positive shifts, 
positive change because you're feeling more in control or you could be taking control of situations can be linked to this eight of coins energy where you're just channeling your own your own element this is a card of virgo the eight of coins like i said and you know that sun energy here is saying whatever you're working on you're being given that cosmic that blessed boost because it's a divine boost it's the sun which is divine energy in virgo so you're being given a divine boost of some kind a cosmic boost and i feel that is just allowing you just to take action just to go for things just to start making things happen now he can also talk about institutions wider organizations and um, that have like a number of tiers structures you know some of you might be going for opportunities or trying to get to the next level for example within a structure and there is just an element of success when the emperor arrives because there's achievement there's success around him and wherever you're traveling i feel for some of you you're heading in the right direction you're finding the right path you're putting whatever challenges that you've had behind you because now there's full clarity certainly with the swords energy which linked to the mind there is full clarity in where you're going this talks about a powerful transition that could link to relocation for jobs could be moving home but I think you're taking yourself, even you and your family with you in particular. There's more than one person in this boat. And you're restoring balance in your life. You're feeling balance in your life. And you're feeling your own power in your life as well. Your own capabilities to bring positive change. So, beautiful, beautiful message. Now, the interesting thing that I'm seeing as well, Virgo, I can't see them anywhere else, but we have two fours here. So... The, the four in tarot can talk about foundation, getting to a point where you're get, achieving milestones, getting to solid foundation, bringing solidity into your life. That could be in terms of money and career in particular. That could be also to do with valued relationships. That can be to do with your home as well. This is a home card too. But whatever this is, you are just solid this month. Rock solid, rock steady. That is very much what I'm seeing. And it's because you're putting in a lot of effort. I'm going to hold them that way. We've got the seven of wands and we've got the four of wands here. There's a lot of fire energy here in your reading. I feel you're certainly feeling your own power, your own potential to bring change here. This is somebody who is reckoning, recognizing their own power. Uh, the seven of wands is somebody who won't be defeated now maybe that's a message for some of you this is somebody who is a trier and you know we've got the 11 11 card here as well i'm just looking at that different it is the four of wands it is the 11 11 card as well which can talk about blessings being guided by you know people we've lost to the other side angel spirits guides so I feel this is, you're being guided to push forward. I feel some of you if, you, if you're facing any obstacles or challenges in December, you're not going to stand down. This is you, resolute, standing strong, standing firm, going for what you want, making it happen. And there's milestones, there's celebration to be had, there's achievement here as well. Powerful message. Now... Like I said, some of you could be working to protect your home, your family, um, and this is just getting to that level of feeling secure, happy family. This can also be about engagements, celebrations. Obviously, there are celebrations around Christmas as well. Uh, celebrations in the home can be to do with, obviously, marriage, engagement, but can also be, certainly in the business and career front, can be to do with achieving milestones, getting to the level it's been hard work but you're getting to that level that you want to get to so getting what you want is a powerful message here because you're bringing positive change and there's a message that the hard work is going to pay off because you're just going for it here okay i'm going to take these two cards together now, 
to be honest Virgo I'm going to read these cards together because I just feel that there is some overlap in the messages that the cards are giving me between love either love or work or money the devil energy is it's a Saturnian energy it's an energy that's designed to keep us exactly where we are and um, keep us in chains so we don't progress we don't move forward we stay exactly as we are and it can talk about toxic relationships difficulties in relationships power struggles in relationships that could be in love Virgo might be something that you've experienced in the past because certainly with that five of one's energy if it is to do with love relationships it is one person wanting more attention than the other you know that kind of thing there could be conflict petty squabbles petty arguments as well if it's to do with the workplace it can talk about toxic relationships in the workplace power struggles and um, one-upmanship you know power play you know in the workplace that is very much the energy power play uh, people advancing you know potentially at the cost of other people people wanting their voice heard above other people as well and I just feel for some of you you're turning your back on it you're breaking I, I just feel for some of you Virgo this is the Cancerian energy and it's a card of victory for those of you who have own, your own inner devils for those of you who have your own inner challenges that are, are keeping you small or making you feel small this is about knowing your worth with the eight of coins what you're capable of because as soon as you do the chariot is releasing what is holding you back and you see the chariot comes from a village he leaves that in the background and he takes the reins of his own life brings his life into balance with these black and white sphinxes being pulled into balance so he can charge straight ahead towards his goal this is very much eyes on the prize and I just feel for some of you you're getting your sense of power that's why all these ones energies are here because if you've been made to feel small or your own inner demons are being made to, uh, are making you feel small you know and it could be to do with this improving health it could be the health in how you're perceiving yourself in some way how you're valuing your placing value on yourself this is where you're beginning to go for it you're beginning to take control very much like the Emperor and the interesting thing is look at those two together you know they have very similar stances the devil and the Emperor so one takes control which is the devil he takes power or we give power to the devil the Emperor owns his power and there's a power shift here in you Virgo because you're suddenly realizing what you're capable of and that's allowing the chariot to come in positive shifts positive change victory success and it's all because you're beginning to take the reins of your own life and here's the beautiful thing we have the canopy above the charioteer it's glittered with stars it's just like the night sky that is covering the charioteer because this is a card of cancer and it's saying all the while you're moving forward you're being protected by God the universe the divine and guided so beautiful beautiful message there so don't allow your fears your doubts to stop you from making the decisions making choices to move forward now this is about going within listening to your intuition to bring positive change Virgo because change is on the cards and I do feel for some of you you're overcoming your challenges maybe your demons because this is the young emperor like I said take the beginning steps take the first steps to bring positive change it's a time to understand your own power to bring change to your life you know the emperor he holds the world the world in his hand in his hand I should say <laughs> and he understands that he can shape his world the world doesn't shape him 
And this is the very beginning of him realizing that, Virgo. And that's what the cards are saying to you. Realize that you are more of a co-creator of your life than you realize when you allow yourself to own your own power, take action, bring positive change, channel your capabilities, put in the effort to expand your life for the better and shape your world for the better. This could might be involve making life choices. I do think you're overcoming any doubts that you have because this is somebody who is beginning to make choices, having gone through doubts in the past, doubts in themselves or doubts in their situation, whatever it is, they're getting control. They're beginning to take action. And a beautiful message here, the Six of Pentacles. They're restoring equilibrium in their life now. It might well be the decisions that you're making will bring in money, success, security for yourself, advancement on the career front. This can also be windfalls. Um, inheritance, that type of thing. But it is also a message. You see, this is the Hierophant, the, represent the representation of the divine God, the universe, the seen version of the unseen. And as he imparts wisdom, he is now telling you to be open to receive Virgo because all the choices, all the decisions that you're making are guided. So powerful, powerful message. There's certainly advancement in terms of career and business. There's certainly advancement if you've had any self-esteem issues here. The hard work is going to pay off. That's what certainly I'm hearing here too. And there's advancement. I feel for some of you in terms of bringing in greater value of life and that is shaping your own internal energy. There's shifts in how you perceive yourself and what you're capable of, certainly in December. And that is allowing you to open up to bigger things, think bigger, because there's a big realization here. Beautiful energies. Now, I'm just gonna pull a spirit message card. So angel spirits guides, what does Virgo need to hear please for December 2019? Message for Virgo, please. Okay, I'll pull another one because that's quite specific. Okay. Okay, so the first one, Virgo. We have a father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable in that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason, whether your father is still here or has passed. A father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever know. Beautiful. And, you know, it might well be some of you are getting advice from a parent too. Now... We have, as a second message, ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centred and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with your divine source. Beautiful. So, beautiful message for December 2019, Virgo. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I hope that December is wonderful for you. If you enjoyed the reading, please do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.